Alright, so for my body paints, I don't normally do talk-throughs, but we're gonna give it a shot for this one since it is a simpler look. If you guys like it this way, I can try and incorporate them more often, or I can try and do voiceovers, but we're just gonna play around and try here. First, I'm gonna start off with my MAC Soft Token Paint Pot, like always. And I obviously already did my brows off camera. I did them very thin today. Um, compared to what they normally look like. All right, so next we're gonna go into this palette from Louis San. I have no idea how to say it. I will leave the name right here, but they asked if they could send me this eyeshadow palette and incorporate it into a YouTube video. It's just the most perfect rainbow palette. And going down each row, you could do a monochrome look. So you've got different depths of each color of the rainbow with a pink row thrown in there. I kind of wish we had a purple glitter instead of the matte black, just to kind of fit with everything else. And I really like the touch of the white in here instead of another yellow, just because you can lighten up any of the shades. So I get that you have the black in there, but I kind of wish the black was tossed in somewhere in the middle and just had a dark purple glitter, just to kind of fit with the bottom here. Even though I don't really use glitter as much on my eyes, but they are fun to add in with my body paint. And the code DeVita will save you guys $3. It's not an affiliate code. I don't make any money from it. It's just a code to save you guys some money. I will leave it linked down below as well as their website so you guys can just check out if you want a different palette instead of this one. And for this, I'm gonna use mostly the pink row here, but we're gonna start off with this light baby pink first. We're gonna go in with the pink underneath that. This first pink right there, we're gonna pack onto the middle. We're gonna go back into this first pink and pop that on the inner corner and inner part of the lid. So now we're gonna take the darkest pink and just make it a little bit deeper on the outer corner there as well. All right, so now we're gonna take this purple here. It's got a little bit of blue glitter in it. We're gonna just pop this on the outer corner. You know what? No, we're actually gonna take this on my finger and we're gonna put it all over the lid. I like that better than just pink. I think we're gonna add a little bit more purple then to it. We're gonna go in with this darker purple and focus that out on the outer corner. So now I'm just taking a tissue with a little bit of micellar water on it and I'm gonna clean up that line a little bit. So we're gonna take a little bit more of that dark purple. All right, so next I'm gonna go into my foundation just to have an even base to paint on top of. And I'm just taking the Becca Ultimate Full Coverage Foundation and mine is in the shade Vanilla. I think that's what it is, yeah, Vanilla. All right, so now I'm gonna take some white body paint. This is the Made You Look body paint, and I'm going to outline. And I know some people can just go in with the paint and go from there. I need to just outline everything to get an idea of where everything's gonna go. Oh, that is so not even. And I use white because it is easier to remove if I make a mistake. So I have already moisturized my body like I normally do. I do that right out of the shower or right before I start the paint and then I work on my face and everything just to give it time to sink in and help prevent the staining. That's also why I do a full face of the foundation and everything so that my skin kind of soaks this up before it soaks up the paint. She's got the sleeves. For her scarf, I don't have a pinky purpley scarf to have it actually go off the side. So we're gonna make it kind of go on to the skin here. So next I'm taking my super dirty Mayron palette. I'm going into this pink shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of the purple in there as well. So I'm gonna mix it. And I'm going to outline the scarf. You can see this still has some of the pink in it, but I just gotta go like this a little bit and that pink is gone. So now I'm gonna take just that purple on its own. And if you make a mistake, you can take a tissue 
put some water or just use your finger. Alright, so that's definitely a little too much skin. Her shirt does not go that far down. And that's why I like to trace it and do the lighter colors first, then add the dark. Alright, so now I'm going to take some of the dark green paradise paint. And we're gonna adjust the outline for the dress. I'm gonna outline around the scarf. I ended up having to dip into this new one because I can barely get anything out of here. So now we're going to go back into that light green. We're going to work on the arms first. The only issue with the paint is you really have to give it enough time to dry or you end up with um, paint smudging. And that's why in some videos you see me just paint one side, you don't see me do the whole other side. Then I just take a break to let the paint dry and I start the other side without starting the camera. So now I'm going to go in with an actual like, foundation brush and I'm going to take the bigger pan of green since this brush is a little bit too big to get into that right there. And I just found that this being a fluffy foundation brush, it just like buffs the paint into the skin instead of using like a flat foundation brush because I don't even prefer flat foundation brushes for my normal foundation. And then I do have a light green wig. It's a little bit too light I think for this but it's better than my actual like hair color. And it's okay if we cover the eyebrows a little bit. I'm gonna end up doing a dark green on them. I should paint my ears but I don't think I'm gonna do it because the wig is gonna cover my ears anyways. And you don't see her ears in the reference picture I'm looking at anyways, so we're not going to paint the ears. It's a pain in the butt to get out of the ears. Like I thought, you know, like, okay, you stay in the armpits, whatever, but I'm like, getting paint out of your ear, it's probably my least favorite thing. Um, we're just going to end up covering up a lot of that winged out shadow look. I'm going to take the dark green paint again from Mayron. And I'm gonna kind of try to do that brow shape I did earlier where it's pretty much just how it looks right now with a little bit more of a tail. All right, so now I'm gonna do like the flower designs on her dress. And in the picture, it looks like there's just like a yellow or like a very light green and like a minty, tealy kind of blue. Looking at the picture, it looks like the pink is just on the top, not really on the lower lash line. So we're going to take this darker green and a little bit of this dark shimmer green. And we're going to just line the lower lash line with that. We're going to go in with just this light pink, apply that as a blush. So for highlight, we're going to go into this lucky clover shade since it is green. Taking a little bit of pink heart on my finger, applying that on the inner corner. We're going to go back into this green here and we're going to shade. I'm going to shade where the dress meets the skin just to make it look like the dress is sitting on top. You kind of want to do bit darker of the shade that you're trying to make darker. For instance with the green here you're not going to shade it with black so it's going to be too dark. This is why I don't do like talk throughs and voiceovers because I don't know how to explain things. I just kind of do things. I don't do talk throughs or show you guys really what I'm using because nine out of ten times I'm digging through like 30 different palettes. Okay that's an exaggeration but normally I'm using like three or four palettes. But to try to keep this as easy as possible, I'm just trying to go through with one palette. I'm going to just take a little, little bit of the black and then 
some purple. We're gonna take this pinky glitter and like, look at that, tap that on to the scarf. And it's got a great like glitter base, like a tacky base to it already. It's not dry and crumbly, so I don't feel like I need to actually use a glitter primer. And then taking some of this one, since she does have glittery brow, she has glittery hair, but I'm not gonna ruin the wig. So I'm not gonna put on any false lashes, but I am gonna take a green, pencil eyeliner and it's a dark emerald green and I'm gonna tight line but this is the wig we are going to be using it's got the bangs and it's the short bob style and I got this off Amazon um, I will link it down below it is from AC ASI AISI Beauty all right so first we're gonna take this kind of like stocking type wig cap and I do prefer this kind but I like to layer them. It works really well. And then I'm just going to tie a little knot. Then I'm gonna take just the standard wig cap. And I'm not a pro at wigs at all. I'm going to pop this on. All right, so yeah, it's definitely a little too bright, but it's such a cute wig. I've got other wigs from this brand that I really, really like. Wigs are just so fun, especially for like characters. It just brings the characters to life. All right, so I think I got the wigs styled enough. It's not perfect um, on the other side, but it's as close as it's gonna get without like too much of my actual hair showing through. For the last step, we are gonna do lips, and you guys all know how much I love pink, so I don't have any pink lipstick. I am gonna go in with this baby pink here. When it comes to lips, I love just using the paint anyways. I feel like you get the staying power of liquid lipstick without um, the dryingness of the liquid lipstick, and you can always just mix to get whatever color you want. This completes the final look for Disgust from Inside Out. I hope you guys enjoyed the talk through style. Um, again, let me know, otherwise I will just keep it strictly like a paint with me video, like watch me paint. But yeah, again, I will link this palette down below for you guys if you are interested in it. I will definitely be using this in more body paints because it has every single shade I'm going to need. Six glitters in here, so I mean take it or leave it if you don't like glitter. Um, like on your eyes and you don't do body paint like me, this might not be the palette for you, but they do have other palettes. I just really liked the rainbow aspect of this, and I really like using glitter in my body paints, but I don't like using them on my eyes. And again, the code DeVito will save you $3, and I do not make any commission on it. It is strictly just a code for you to use. And then again, this wig is from Amazon, and it's from the brand AC Beauty, and I will have the wig linked down below for you guys as well. I'm gonna quit rambling. I'm about to run out of memory on my camera. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notifications so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!